Okay, good morning, all of you. Today I'm going morning, to. Uh, good morning, ma'am. Okay. Uh, today I'm going to take a session on how to convert innovation into a startup. Okay. So, uh, what do you think about the startup? It is very common for first feature to emerge as an innovation. Okay. What is innovation here? Innovation is defined as the ability of individuals or companies or even nation to explore ideas so that they can add values to the government and society. The success of business is not only based on its potential to generate income, but also how your idea generate positive impact on people. See, we have a different level of innovations. First is incremental innovation. What we are doing basically in the incremental innovation, this is the most common type of innovation. It is to basically find a way to improve products. I mean, how we can uh, basically improve our product services or process that already exist in the market. So uh, there are solution. Uh, we here basically not uh, basically we do, uh, do not create the solution from the scratch, but we have to introduce some small changes to the existing ones. Okay, so next one we have the radical innovation. What it type basically? What is the radical innovation? What do you understand by that? Basically, what we are doing here, we have to create a product or service or process basically that never seen before. It is basically we have to build that product, service, or process from scratch and placed on the market in order to completely replace the previous solution. Okay, so that is that is all about the innovation. So we can say there's another definition of innovation. Like we can say basically innovation is an invention plus commercialization. So this implies that having a product does not mean you have a business. Okay, what is the innovation? Suppose we have invention and you are not basically uh, commercializing it. So we can not it as an innovation. So uh, when we have innovation, we have to put that product into the market as well. Okay, having a product does not mean you have a business, you have developed a product, but you are not commercializing it. That means all your efforts are goes and went. Whatever the energy, whatever the time, whatever the money you have invested to develop such product, such prototype, that all go into the vein until or unless we have commercialized that product into the business. Okay, so we have to basically, what is the purpose of innovation here? We have to create our product and commercialize that product so that we can serve the human being or society. Clear? So I think uh, we are clear about the innovation. What do you mean by innovation here? Next, what is the peculiarity of the product? Means we have, what are the, uh, now we have a suggested innovation framework. What are the different suggestion innovation framework? The first point is just do it. Means whenever we are uh, doing innovation, what the steps we need to follow? Just do it. What do you mean by, by that basically? You do not afraid to fail. Okay, and take risk and move your idea forward. Okay, so whatever the idea you have, you don't have to scared off to basically put that idea on market. You have to basically do uh, the innovation and put that idea on the basically a market. Okay, next one is seek novelty in the design. So what do you mean by seek novelty in design? You have see what is the new involve others in your problems what is the basically uh, new in your product and you have to involve others into your problem to solving basically their efforts maybe bring a different perspective or the cultural experience in your product okay the next one is 
set the goals and objective means what are, what are the basically you want to do what is the goal or objective of your product okay the next one is identify problems or opportunities means you have to identify the problem means for what purpose you are uh, going to make a product or for uh, what type of problem uh, so that you uh, you are going to solve that problem okay next one we have the seek opportunities seek opportunities means here you have to uh, basically open your mind and have a new experience every day no matter how small is new experience basically stimulate the brain and help you make new and original connections and basically the most important thing you uh, basically here to, you have to relax your mind do not stress yourself or take a pain because it can block your pathway to create the innovation okay and the last important thing is find what you love to do okay so whatever the task in which you are more comfortable and you feel a happiness to do that and you have an interest uh, regarding that field choose the particular field and go for that particular innovation okay okay the next one is uh, we have what is the peculiarity of a product okay what is the peculiarity of the product see peculiarity means something extra or out of the box you can say something that differentiate from the rest of the product of the similar category might be your product it might be a product basically it is tangible or intangible that doesn't matter you have to put serious intentional efforts to develop that product okay not only to develop that product you have to sustain that product into the competitive environment as well and you have to basically continuous events of hydration of an item for the service being offered for continuous modification so that your product not only serve the human needs in a better way but it should be keep on modifying by your time see by the time it should be work more accurately to solve the human need more accurately and the most important thing is the, uh, there the buyer should uh, get a feeling of goodwill factor that i have invested my money to buy a very good product that is serving by all needs in an absolute way okay got it so what do you mean like uh, here uh, we have to uh, be a uh, very conscious about the product see the what is uh, what is inside the mind of the buyer i am so happy when uh, he is going to purchase your product what he feels he have he has to feel basically i am too much happy after buying this product so this kind of uh, basically thinking or uh, makes a good will in the uh, basically brain of the buyer that occupy a good space the in the brain of the buyer so brand what it makes what it basically consider it makes a brand uh, what buyers will think buyers will think the brand is most promising brand and if i am going to buying every product of this brand so this brand product will solve all my purpose all my needs okay often certain products are face of that company all you are familiar with maggi maggi whenever we are like uh, uh going to purchase the maggi uh, the maggi is the product only that is the face of the uh, nestle brand okay so some products are basically uh, showing that it is a basically a brand image of that company so what is uh, so we need to uh, present our product in that way or we have to make our product in that way that the particular product present the whole company so when we are designing our product designing is the most important phase of the developing see whenever we have to design a product we have to keep all these things in our mind 
whether our product is tangible or intangible, whether it is going to like how is going to satisfy the customer requirement, how is going to like can be a product, a brand image of that company, how is going to that product is, is going to be sustained in a particular environment. So uh, we have to uh, uh, keep these things in our mind while designing our product. So when we are designing our product, designing, see, designing is a very important phase of and developing a product. First, we have to find out the utility of the product. Okay. What is the use of my product and how customer is going to use the product? Okay. So utility is very important. How means when customer is going to purchase our product, is it efficient for the uh, customer? Is the our product is going to satisfy all the requirement of the customer or not? So utility of the product is a very major thing. The next is the peculiarity. What is the peculiarity here? How this product is differentiate themselves from the rest of the product? Okay, means in the market, we have a number of products, but how your product basically it is uh, differ from other product how it is better than other product or it may uh, the product may be from the same segment or from the same similar uh, industry as well so what is distingu uh, distinguishing feature of my product means how it can be differ from other products so we need to uh, keep this thing in our mind as well the uh, next thing is that ergonomics. Ergonomics means how efficiently my product used by the customer. Means how customer, when our, go, uh, when our customer is uh, like coming to us, he is going to purchase our product. Now customer have our product. But how it is easy to handle by the customer. How it is customer, how the customer friendly product we made. We are supposed to make, uh, make that product that uh, should be user friendly as well. Okay, suppose I'm going to purchasing a product that cannot be easily handled by the and customer. It is required too much technical knowledge uh, to use that product. That means too much technical knowledge is required to handle that product. That means the people who have the technical background can only use a product. The people who don't have the technical background cannot use the product. So this, uh, these kinds of things does not happen while we are designing product. Our product should be a user friendly. If any person came to us and uh, customer uh, or consumer is going to purchase a product, it should be a user friendly. Whenever he is going to, whenever he is going to use that product, it should be a usable product. It is easy to use. We should have to design a, a basically a graphical user interface that is basically accessible accessible by everyone. Everyone can easily access the various features of the product. Clear? Okay. So, next one we have product design processes. What is observation basically? See, when we are designing our product, we have to uh, see the importance of the design of the product. Means, means how uh, the product is going to be like uh, behave in the market. So suppose if you are going to, if you are actually purchasing or uh, comparing the laptop and desktop, there are just uh, two types of product design of the same product. Like we are using uh, previous, uh, like uh, previously we are using the desktop and now we are using the laptops. Means rapidly the uh, the purchase, basically we are uh, now, we are basically now, not now purchasing the desktop. We are basically going uh, towards a laptop. Means the purchasing or uh, uh, the we can say laptop has increased the purchasing rate of laptop has increased that is all because the simple change in product design so product design is the way to arrange the features and benefits of the product to be presented to the customer so the customer can be benefited from 
when people used to uh, basically purchase that product okay we have to design our product in the way so that it can the, our customer should be benefited from that when people used to uh, we, uh, we can take the some examples like when people used to listen the boom boxes sony brought the walkman and it was an instant hit like next one uh, we can uh, take the example uh, basically it was uh, just a product design matter uh, apple first it uh, produces the design of ipod again it produces the uh, like uh, and uh, when we have the smartphones like we are using nowadays smartphones so smartphones are taking away the market or market share from the ipod so product design is very uh, important here so we have to design the product or continuously modifying the product according to the uh, future requirement or according to the current need okay what the customer wants what the extra features we can provide the customer so that customer can be benefited the product should be useful by the customer and it satisfy all the needs of the customer okay okay what are the various conditions for a business okay so a single necessary or sufficient condition for a business is a paying uh, customer what do you mean by that a single condition for a business means uh, when we are going to make a business or uh, how our business is going to or startup we can consider uh, basically is going to sustain in the market means what are the uh, condition for that see if the customer is not uh, willing to pay for your products or your services then it might be possible your business would run out of the cash okay means your business when you are uh, when you have a business it's necessary you have a customer as well that is going to purchase your uh, product okay and it might be possible if your business would run out of the cash means if you don't have the customers and uh, the no customers purchasing your product so it might be possible like uh, uh, you have to shut down uh, shut down your business as well so the first condition for your business whatever the product whatever the service whatever the solution you are providing the customer must have willingness to pay for your product so it is necessary to uh, like to sustain in the market or for the uh, basically uh, uh, improvement of the business or uh, uh, for the profit of the business or for sustainability of the business we need a customer who are going to purchase our product okay the day someone pays you money for the product or service you have a business and not the day before okay so today you are uh, having a many customers but every day we are getting a new kind of technology Okay. suppose we have developed a product and not focusing on the future requirement and future modification of that product that means after a certain time my product will not going to solve the purpose of the buyers okay basically the demands of the buyer okay. so uh, it is necessary we need to focus on basically the uh, current customer demand or future demand of the product so for what to sustain in the market to sustainability of the business what we uh, first need first need we should have the customer and we need to focus on the future requirement current requirement we need to keep on updating our product so that product can be useful by the customer if it, if it is uh, currently uh, like we have to add more functionalities and more features to the product so that the product can be useful by the uh, customer okay so what do you mean by startup here a startup see startup is a young business basically it is a, like a, 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 it's a just innovation uh, it's just innovation we uh, just basically are going to develop our product we have invented a product and now we are going to put that product in the market okay so startup we are considering as an organization that designed to innovate a new product or service under conditions of extreme uncertainty 
okay so an organization or startup may be encompasses mission may be having a mission vision strategy hiring they are or going to hire the employees so they can uh, uh, they can make a team to uh, uh, deal with the various department that are going to uh, inside the startup or the business uh, so uh, startup may contain a hiring team or accounting or finance department operation strategies so it operates under too much uncertainty means when we are going to start our business when we are in the initial phase when we are just started our company so it may be matlab we are in the uncertain stage we have to put a lot of effort to basically sustain in market to uh, upbring ourselves okay and uh, to do that we have to brush up our skills and we have to put a lot of effort to basically uh, maintain our position in the market or to uh, basically uh, launch our product in the market and the customer is going to purchase our product okay so we need to when we are going to uh, uh, start any business we have to keep patience the first thing is that we have to put a hard work we have to do uh, put a lot of efforts over there so and the second more thing is we have to keep patience over there so it takes a time when you start any business you have to put a lot of effort and it, uh, the things are going to be uh, slow things may be fail or uh, uh, so you have to keep patience over there okay so what is the startup reality like i said before the startup most of the startup may fail okay so how we are going to prevent that situation so there are five key elements that we have to keep in our mind to uh, basically uh, if you want uh, success of our startup if if you want to be, become a successful entrepreneur so we have to keep five things in our in our mind what is the uh, what are the basically five things are the first is idea what is idea many uh, basically uh, when we are going to start any startup so every most of the inexperienced founders think idea is everything but it is not like that it is not like that okay so many uh, unexperienced founders they basically think the uh, when we have new idea then only we can basically uh, basically start a startup so logically it is very difficult to come up with a fresh idea we live in an interconnected world basically what you have thought it might be thought of someone else as well okay the founder of the linkedin we can take the example of the founder of the linkedin when he started a linkedin it wasn't the only jo job board means he was not only who started this type of business there were some other similar companies as well but what we have uh, seen now the linkedin came up the top okay so we need uh, like we have to brush up our skills we have to come up with a new ideas and and we have to like uh, how we are going to represent that idea how we are going to uh, use that idea to build our product that uh, basically uh, uh, very important thing here so next one next the major point is here team or execution okay so when we have team or execution what do you mean by that you are going to start a startup the only you have in the if you, if in your business the only person you have it like uh, it, it is not going to make your business successful what do you need you need successful or hard working team as well execution or team is very uh, a huge differentiator here when it comes to startup success it is the machine that brings the idea to life great teams basically build that tremendous product okay the next one and we can take the example of the linkedin the great execution for the linkedin basically the great execution is what differentiated them from their competitors actually they came at the top because of the great team they had in the great execution so we need great team to do 
a more successful or to make a successful product as well or to uh, become a successful entrepreneur okay so next one is the business model what is the business model a great business model can impact the success of a business okay similarly we can say a bad business model can cause a business to go out of the existence as well so basically startup founder generally what they will do they ignore the business model at the beginning see what are the factors that we can judge from the business model that like cash flows and revenue generation and the profit systems all are determine the a business model so we can take the example of the amazon each new seller adds diversity to their products attracting to attract the new set of customers amazon prime we can take the example of the amazon prime subscription that includes a free subscription that would otherwise cause a customer extra charges okay if they were on their own okay so we need to focus on the business model as well the next one is funding and timing okay so uh, what is the funding funding means it is very a major like it's a very important uh, factor here uh, we cannot put that factor in the like uh, in the number one like we uh, we cannot consider uh, it as a very important but ha huh, it is a part uh, but yes it is a part of uh, your startup reality to uh, to make it successful uh, we need funds we need investors to start our business so funding is a very necessary thing here next one is timing within a given time we have to basically uh, uh purchase or we have to basically uh, deliver our product it is very necessary if we have to uh, bound ourselves within a like time duration when we have to start when we have to stop when we have to start to build a product and what are the different stages uh, it has and when we have to uh, means what are the different parts of the product and when we have to start and when we have to stop that should be uh, basically a main factor here so timing is a major concern here we have to keep this uh, thing in our mind we have to the, whenever the customer comes to us and it uh, basically tells us our all the requirement it what is his expectation he expect from ourselves we have to deliver the product on time okay so we have the restriction of the time as well so we need to deliver our product within a time so uh, how it can be possible if we complete uh, and see uh, when we are going to develop the product there are various stages comes under the product development so we need to consider all the sub parts as well we have to start each sub part on time and stop at the same time okay so uh, delivery del uh, the product delivery on time is very important here so next one is what makes startup succeed okay so what makes startup succeed uh, see we have uh, taken the uh, uh, data of 200 companies the uh, among that 40 42% companies are basically that uh, considering the time as a major component 32% companies which are considering the team and execution as a more uh, like factor and 28% companies that are majorly focusing on the idea and 24% companies that are basically considering the business model to design a product and they are focusing on business model and 14 percent com uh, companies they are like uh, dependent on like considering the fund considering the funding as a most important factor okay so now what are the different stages of product development means what we have to keep in mind in when we have we are going to develop our product see what is the product development here product development is the process of building a new product okay from ideation all the way through the launch means when we have an idea and from a starting on having a starting from having an idea and, and then launching the product in the market okay so uh, product development actually covering all these phases the product development basically begins with those initial brainstorming sessions where you are just discussing a budding idea from there the process is creative but strategic 
and you may have seen it done in a million different ways we can like uh, every company is following their own uh, models to develop a product but the common features what they need to do actually we are going to summarize here means what is the first step then what we need to do then what is the step we need to follow here so first is idea generation that is we call it as the ideation as well okay so initial stage of the product development process begins by generating new product ideas okay it is a very initial stage where we are going to uh, uh, basically going to make our idea or give our idea this is the product innovation stage where your brainstorm product concept based on the customer needs and concept testing and market research as well okay so it's a good idea to consider uh, the number of factors when initiating a new product concept okay so you need to focus on the target market as well what is the target market here your target market is the consumer profile you are building for uh, basically to whom you are building your product these are your potential customer means uh, to whom we are going to deliver our product and we need to focus on existing product as well when you have a new product concept you need to focus on means how your product is different from other product okay the next thing uh, uh, factor we need to consider when we are going to make our idea or give our idea so uh, next is functionality while you don't need a detailed report of product functionality just yet you should have a general idea of what function it will serve okay so you need to uh, like uh, note it down what are uh, the features you are going to provide to the customer okay the next one is product definition once you have completed the business case and discussed uh, it functionality it's time to define the product okay means what is the product is going to be what is the scope of the product means uh, what is uh, we are going to make this is also a scoping of the concept of the or basically okay students uh, so where we were uh, we are discussing the stages of uh, product development so we were discussing about the like basically idea generation ideation and uh, next when we have a prototype definition like we need when we are designing the products we uh, what we the stages we are requiring so uh, first we we can we should have a idea so that we can convert that idea into a, a basically a a useful product and the next one like a product definition what is necessary for the product definition and we need to discuss here the scope and the product concept okay so uh, the next one uh, is the basically prototype so what is the prototype during the prototype stage uh, your team basically uh, your basically research team uh, basically uh, develop and document their uh, product by creating a more detailed business plan and constructing a product okay so basically uh, the early stage prototypes might be simple as a drawing or more complex computer render of the initial design so these prototype have you identify area of risk before you create the prototype during the prototype phase actually you have to work upon uh, the some things uh, first is feasibility study feasibility analysis okay so uh, in this process we have to evaluate your product strategy based on the feasibility determine if the workload or estimated timeline are basically possible to achieve or not if not adjust your dates according and request help from additional stakeholders okay uh, so uh, the other factor uh, what we have to consider while making prototype the market risk research it is very important to analyze any potential risk, risk basically uh, that is associated with production of your product before it is physically created okay so this will pre prevent actually the product launch from being in uh, basically uh, 
go in vain later on so it it will basically ensure you communicate risk to the team by documenting them in the risk register okay so uh, the next step so prototype step is very important before going to make a actual product we should have a uh, basically a prototype of that product so prototype consists all the functionality that the actual product actually con uh, consists so we need to uh, uh, basically uh, put all the functionality into the prototype uh, the next one is initial design during the initial design phase basically project stakeholders work together to produce a mock up of the product okay the design should be created with a target or audience in mind and complement the key functions of your product successful product design basically may need a multiple iteration to get just right and may involve communicating with distributors in order to source necessary material as well see uh, in once in at a once we cannot design a successful product or prototype we need a multiple iteration and we need set of users who are going to tell us what are the errors basically and what are the are, uh, faults uh, can be happening or what are the features are missing in the product okay so we need to uh, we need basically multiple iteration there so what we are doing we are making our pro prototype and, and we are basically delivering it uh, we are uh, basically initially design that product and we are, are uh, just have a group of customers and that are basically going to check whether there is an error or not okay whether there is a, some feature missing or not so it, it needs multiple iteration to get a right product okay so next is validation and testing what is the validation and testing actually validation and testing is a very important part uh, uh, to go live with the product you first need to validate and test this ensure that every part of the product from development to marketing is working effectively before it release to the product okay to ensure the quality of the product you have to consider the ma uh, multiple factors like concept development and testing you may have designed your prototype but you will still need to work through these issues this could involve basically software development or initial uh, prototype test functionality basically uh, basically enlisting the help of the team members okay so we need to uh, consider validation means what are the features are, that is uh, told by the customer should be each and every feature should be in the product or not so we need to validate whatever the whatever the requirements we are actually documented inside the document and what are the features actually provided to the customer is it matching or not is it validating or not and what are the different like the features uh, that that is expected by the customer means how it look like and how it be benefited and how it uh, is useful by the customer is these kinds of things we need to keep in mind and we need to check here and testing testing means uh, we have a multiple kind of testing we are uh, basically performing during that uh, first one is uh, front end testing like uh, during the stage test the front end functionality for the risk with development code or consumer facing errors okay so this includes checking the e commerce functionality and ensuring it is stable for launch or not means we have to check uh, like uh, we have provided the functionalities so is the customer are going to face any problem while using the uh, that functionality or uh, like uh, whatever the functionality is comfortable like to use or is it okay the customer it is okay for the customer whether, uh, whether he is going to like easily can use uh, whether he is from the non technical background is is he is okay to uh, basically uh, check the whether the functionality is working or not whether he can uh, be able to use or that or not so we need to consider that factor or not uh, now, and the next one is back end testing back end testing means whenever fetching any data or whenever uh, just uh, putting any data or storing any data or typing any data uh, in the pro using product so is it the uh, correct format it is uh, whether it is accepting the data or whether, whether it is fetching the data or whether we are extracting the data from the uh, the that product whether it is giving uh, us a good result or not so 
we have to check uh, these type of uh, testing comes under the back end testing okay the next one we have to consider the test marketing okay so test marketing is actually what test marketing is basically before you begin producing your final product test your marketing plan for functionality and errors and this is also a time to ensure that all the campaigns all the companies are set up correctly and ready to launch all the products are set up correctly and ready to launch okay means you have done all the testing you have done all the validation you have constructed prototype and you have done back end and front end testing now you are going to basically e uh, test it for the market purpose now product is going to launch in the actual market before this we are having the product we are providing the product to the set of users that belongs to the, our company or or that may uh, that may be the friendly uh, uh, customers but now product is going to a uh, launch into the uh, basically a market now we are going to uh, me, uh, deliver the product to the actual customer so we need to do actual testing here so whether it is satisfying the customer who is the actual wants the product is it satisfying all the needs of the customer or not once you initial or uh, once your initial testing is complete now you are ready to begin the producing the final product concept and launch it, it to your customer base okay so uh, the last one is commercialization what is commercialization basically now it is time uh, in the first slide i told you what is innovation innovation is basically invention plus commercialization if you have product and uh, uh, you are uh, like keeping that product to yourself only so it is we cannot uh, call them uh, that as a innovation uh, once uh, we are uh, basically putting that product into the market and uh, once we commercialize that product into the market then only we can uh, call it as a invention okay when uh, we are using that product for the to service the human needs or the uh, to service uh, to satisfy the customer requirement then we call it as an innovation so once you created the product we need you need to you uh, have an invention you need to commercialize it okay so now it's time to commercialize your concept in which involves the launching your product and implementing it on your website basically by now you have finalized the design Quali all the quality testing are done your development and marketing strategies are done and you feel confident in your final iteration is this is the time that you feel very confident okay and be ready to produce your final product okay so now you have completed all the things now you are ready to basically produce your final product to the customer okay so these are the steps that we have to follow while we are designing our product and uh, when we have started our startup and we uh, want that our startup should be successful and uh, it will produce a product that will be useful by the customer that will be the user friendly and utility of the product should be high and the uh, peculiarity of the product should be high and the features and functions that the product consists should be different from the other so these things we need to keep in our mind while designing our product okay so last thing is the design proposal design proposal see these are the points that uh, uh, the gist of the all the points that i covered in the slides uh while we are designing the product we need to it basically what is our requirement we need to meet uh, basically satisfy the customer requirement whether it is a functional requirement whether it is a not functional requirement all the features that is demanded by the customer should be satisfied by the your product and and the, whatever the functionality that is specified by your customer should be in the product it should be in the user friendly manner it should have a graphical user interface so user can easily operate on the given product okay and it should be appealing appealing means we need to put some extra effort to basically uh, um, uh, to show courtesy towards our customers to satisfy the requirements once he purchased a product from our company now he will uh, 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 we will again come to our company and will again purchase our product so that kind of uh, uh, behavior uh, that should be needed uh, 
uh, while designing the product or while uh, while having the startup or while you have having a business okay so you need to put a, some extra effort to uh, to make your uh, product very effective or attractive and practicality the product you have developed it should be according to the current customer need or current market need okay so uh, you need to basically follow the current current ma market requirement what the market actually wants and what are the different features what the current product here and how your products are differ from that how your product is more attractive and more efficient and more user friendly and compared to other product which is basically exist in the market okay so and next one is the feasible feasible means you have to uh, basically Feasible means uh, whether you are going to make a product and uh, it should be feasible by everyone. Means it should be feasible for customer and it should be feasible for company as well. You are startup or well. If you don't have the uh, uh, the technical team which is required, the technology which is required to develop that product. If you don't have that uh, type of technical uh, team or the people who know that language, so how you are going to make that product? You need to add. Uh, the you have two options either you uh, like skip that product or you just hire the uh, people who have the knowledge of the technology that uh, is required to develop that product okay so uh, feasibility is very uh, efficiential point we need to check whether it is the product is when we are going to start a product make a product we need to check whether it's feasible for or not whether it is in our budget or not means we are taking a product that is uh, that is uh, like once we have completed the product we are not benefited from that so how you are going to uh, like proceed further or how you're going to make your uh, like uh, uh, business uh, fruitful okay so how you can succeed in future so you need to take care of these things while you're designing your product or when you start your startup for the successful startup you need to consider all these points in your minds okay so these are uh, all the this from uh, all from my side that means now all you are clear about the what is the uh, basically design and what is the innovation what is the invention means how we are going to start a startup how we can once we once we start when we are thinking about to start the startup how we are going to make it successful and what we uh, uh, what are the different things that we need to keep in our minds we need to consider all these factors okay so this from our side and uh, students uh, we are done uh, and if you have any query, please feel free to ask me. Okay. Okay, I think you don't have any query. You all are cleared about the concepts and uh, now you are uh, know what is innovation, what is startup and how to convert the innovation into startup. So, uh, Okay, now uh, can we have, uh, can you people, can you turn your uh, camera so that uh, can we have a group photograph of the session? Ma'am. Can you Hello. all please turn on your camera so that uh, we can have a group uh, photograph or group session? Hello. Hello. Video. Okay. Hello. Yes. Yes, Vita, can you, can you please, all, all of you, can you turn on your camera? Hello, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, students, for joining us. Now I'm going to end this meeting. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.